In this video, we're going over how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy A51 to your TV. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so it can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're gonna to walk you through how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy A51 to your TV. To make this work, you will need an HD TV um, with an HDMI connection. Secondly, you will need home Wi-Fi. Now I will show you a way to do it without Wi-Fi, but the primary method I'm gonna show you, you will need Wi-Fi for. So that's just a disclaimer and I'll explain more later on in the video. So HD TV with an HDMI connection, uh, home Wi-Fi, and the third thing is you will need a Chromecast. Now, if your goal is to mirror everything on your screen, you will need a Chromecast. If your goal is just to play a video from your phone, then um, the second method I'm gonna show you later on in the video will allow you to just send a video from your phone. For example, a Netflix video, Hulu video, YouTube, any one of those methods will work with the second method I'm gonna show you. So to get started, you'll wanna swipe down from the top of the screen and make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on and make sure you are connected to the same network that your Chromecast is connected to. Now I will leave links below in the description of where you can purchase a Chromecast if you don't have one. And I'll also have a link on how you set up a Chromecast in the description below. Um, okay, so make sure Wi-Fi is turned on, make sure your Chromecast is connected to your TV and is already set up, and make sure your TV is switched to the input that your Chromecast is plugged into. So those are the three things you need to do. And next, what we're gonna do is swipe down. So we've already swiped down one time to get to this screen. We're gonna swipe down again, and you're gonna look for the icon that says Smart View, and tap on Smart View. And what Smart View will do is it'll show you all the devices that it can link up to. So this is my Chromecast, this is my Roku, and this is my Samsung Smart TV. Um, for the sake of this video, again, I'm gonna show you the mirroring step, which will work with a Chromecast, and it'll also work with a Samsung Smart TV. Now, earlier I mentioned that if you didn't have Wi-Fi, there was a way to still mirror your screen to the TV. And essentially, the way to make that work is you have to have a Samsung Smart TV, and it probably needs to be either a 2019 model 2020 or beyond in order for this to work properly. So um, in this case, I have a Samsung Smart TV here, and if I just wanted to mirror my screen without home Wi-Fi, I could tap on this, and it would begin to mirror everything that's on my screen. That's the non-Wi-Fi option. For those of you that have Wi-Fi and don't have that Samsung Smart TV, you're gonna look for your Chromecast, and you're gonna tap on that icon. Right now, I'm gonna slide my phone over to this side. And, and now everything you do on the phone is gonna show on the TV. So you'll be able to fully mirror your screen. If I wanna go on the internet, I can browse the internet. If I wanna to go to my gallery and look at pictures that I've taken and maybe show from a trip, I can do that. Now, if you do rotate your phone sideways, it will rotate as well and I can go through. This is again a great option if your goal is I wanna show pictures from a trip. You can swipe through your pictures and they'll all show up on the TV. Sometimes there's a slight delay, but for the most part it's pretty smooth. Now this is a great option for those of you that are trying to show gameplay or demonstrate a specific process to people. For example, if you're trying to teach someone how to use an app or um, just show them something very specific step-by-step step on your phone, this is a great option. However, this option is not the best option if your goal is simply to show a video from your phone to the TV. So if your goal is, I just wanna show a video from my phone to the TV, let me show you the second way to do this, and I think this is gonna solve a lot of your problems or what you're trying to accomplish. So in order to close out the segment that we're in, we're gonna tap on this little smart view icon and tap on disconnect. And that will disconnect your phone from your TV. 
And now, next what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open a video, I'm gonna go to YouTube, and I'm gonna find a video to play, and I'm gonna show you a different process. So let's say I wanted to play this video. Now I'm gonna pause the video, and in the corner here we have this little icon, this is your cast icon. Now tapping on this will allow you to send the video directly to your TV, so you can still use your phone to do other things, but just have the video play on the TV. So in this case, you can see, I can cast this video right to my Samsung Smart TV. Um, and if you have other Smart TVs, it should work as well. You can also send that video to your Chromecast or to a Roku device. So this method works with more streaming devices. Now I don't currently have a Fire TV device connected, but if you have a Fire Stick or a Fire Cube, any one of the Amazon TV devices, it will also work with that. If you have an Apple TV and you want it to work with that, you can tap on Link with TV and you would go on your Apple TV, go to the YouTube app. If you don't have it, download the YouTube app and you can actually link your phone with your Apple TV so you can then play videos from your phone to the TV. For the sake of this uh, demonstration, I'm gonna tap on my Chromecast and give it a second. You're gonna see that video is gonna start playing right on the TV. And the cool thing is, once that video starts to play, I can then go home and begin to use my phone to do other normal things. For example, if I wanna send a text message or download an app or play one of my games, I can have that open and I can play that while that video plays on the TV. And the cool thing is you can use your phone's volume to turn the volume up and down on the TV. So that's cool. Now, if you also wanna control the video that's playing, just simply swipe down from the top of the screen and you'll see now playing, this is the video and I can just swipe down. I can pause the video from here. I can move forward in the video by dragging the bar. And if I'm done and I wanna stop the video from playing, I can just tap on the X right here and I can close the video out altogether. So this is the process to mirror your screen from your phone. Now this is, again, specifically just mirroring a video uh, versus the whole screen. I like this second option better because I rarely wanna mirror my entire screen. I usually just have a funny video that I wanna play and I'll send that to the TV so that I can show someone else quickly or you know, I might have you know, bought a movie on my phone and I wanna show it on the TV for my family to watch. I use that second option, I just cast the video to the TV, let it play and then I use my phone to do whatever I wanna do, browse Instagram or whatever. So this has been how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy phone to your TV. Um, and again, this will pretty much work with any Samsung Galaxy phone that has that smart view feature or if you have the Chromecast. Those are kind of the two requirements. Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.